Number six, Redeeming Love. Uh, this is probably my favorite movie of the entire list. It's batshit with just wh whoever thought of this fucking script. Okay, good old farmer boy Christian falls in love with a prostitute for no reason other than he clearly just has the hots for her, but it's true love. It's like if someone said, all right, you know all these Christian movies that have been like really coming in since like 2014 with God's Not Dead? All right, what if, what if we made that but super skeezy and sleazy and just dive right into just how gross the 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 old west was with the prostitution right <laughs> like okay i'm sold uh it was just funny how forced the melodrama is from start to finish there's not a single instance that you buy that these two are falling in love there's not a single instance where it feels genuine it is always just this forced i love you and you, you're just you're just my whole world and I, I, you know you're my destiny and bullshit you know like they're not actually having real conversations with each other it's it's pretty much just like movie trailer dialogue for for romance flicks but for over two hours this thing is nearly two and a half hours long <laughs> it breezes by because it's so stupid though <laughs> I was laughing from start to finish just from how forced it felt from every frame of this movie. Oh, and it has one of the best out of context scenes I saw all year in a flick, maybe? Maybe, that's a tough call, but it was pretty, uh, it's something I'll never forget. We haven't met before. Could be. You look like Someone I used to know. He fucked his own daughter! Yeah, redeeming love.